Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Emily and today I am going to be going through my February wrap up. So last month was, I could say, very successful with my reading, I will have to say. As you can see, there are a total of nine books. Nine! When did I have the time to read these? I do not know. But just as a warning, two of these books were DNF. So I did read, half, I think, about halfway through and then I realised that I was not into these books. So I decided not to finish them. Our uh, first book I read, uh, these aren't in the order I read. but So one of the books I read this month is How to Move in Castle. I gave this four stars. Honestly, I enjoyed it. The plot is pretty much about Sophie and she's the oldest sister and she has to continue with the hat shop and pretty much when she builds these hats they become like personalities and anyway she gets cursed by the Wicked Witch of the West uh, after she had encountered Hal and then pretty much on her way to see Hal. It pretty much is like the animated film which probably would know about when it comes to House Moving Castle, you think of the movie, not the book. I didn't realise it was a book until I think I watched a couple of YouTube channels. So, But overall, it was a good book. It's definitely a good uh, middle grade. It was written in the 80s, so um, there could be a little bit of language that is not appropriate for today, such as the word queer. It's used a bit uh, derogatory in this book, but it's still a decent book nonetheless. Recently, I finished Storm by Bridget Kimmerer. Uh, I don't know what, why, but these books don't really come up in her books that she has written. Uh, but they pretty much, this book, I gave it three stars. And this book, I felt like that was very remnant of like Twilight and trying to copy it a little bit. It was a decent book. I will definitely have to give trigger warnings to this book as it kind of goes into detail on uh, SA. If, uh, but it was pretty good overall not really much else i could go into other than it's pretty much about i like to call it ya avatar but i don't know if that would be the right terminology for that <laughs> my husband reckons it's not but i like to label it like that because it's the best way for me to describe it is typical ya avatar because you got a guy who's pretty much water and he falls in love with this other girl and yeah and then there's another guy that's like oh i really like her and it's a whole twisted love story, like, yeah, triangle, fun times. Next, we have Library of Souls by uh, Red Some Riggs. I DNF this book. I uh, got about, I think, about half, I, think I got up to like the third or fourth chapter. I just wasn't really connecting to the characters. I honestly could not care whether they survived or not survived. Yeah, I just could not really give give a lot to the book and yeah and also it's been a while since I've read the second book so that could have been an issue but at the same time at the second book I was starting to lose a bit of interest in the characters and just was intrigued by what was happening in the storyline to begin with and I still was very creeped out at the fact that Jacob Portman was pretty much in love with his grandfather's ex if that makes any sense <laughs> I mean, to people who have read the series or watched the movie, I suppose it will make sense to them as to what's going on, but still, it's kind of creepy for me anyway. Next book um, on that I also DNF is A Conjuring of Light by V.E. Schwab. I would not have ever guessed that I would DNF a book by V.E. Schwab, but this book I really had to. It was draining. I was getting in a slump reading this book. I got about halfway through before I DNF'd it. And for good reason as well. I it's not that I DNF'd it because I just wanted to, but it was it was getting to a point it was very boring. Like it was it just felt like a lot of the time it was just description and it just was not my vibe anymore, I suppose. Like the only character I really gave to fly about is Lila Bard. Uh she was probably the most interesting book character in this book, but it was not enough to keep me sustained through this book. Uh, v. E. Schwab really likes to like likes to describe a lot, and depending on the books, it can go really, really well. Like I really loved uh, the Invisible Life of Addie Larue. I really loved that. Uh, the only other book I've read by V. E. Schwab, um, other than the series, was Gallant, and I did not like that personally. Like I did not figure out that the character was actually mute until halfway through the book when 
everyone kept saying she doesn't talk and I'm like but she's been literally talking this entire time but it just turns out you're so much in her head that you just thought she was talking and that really confused me but I only gave that a three stars uh with this series I gave the first book a four star second book a three star and this one's DNF so I mean at least I've not really finished it but at least I know somewhat what at least I gave it a try Next book, I'm only about halfway through this, so I'm still reading it slowly but surely. And that is Daisy Jones and the Six by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I started this yesterday and I started reading it because I wanted to read it before the TV show comes out because I've been getting a lot of prompts and stuff like that to watch the show through there and what like watch the show when it comes out and I honestly really interested by just the story of the, the shorts that they've been giving us and I was like you know what let's try and read this book really quickly and I felt like honestly reading reading something pretty quickly so, and I feel like this was a good book to pick to read quickly. Next, we have three volumes of The Promised Neverland. So, I actually started to pick this up again because I left it a bit in 2022. But 2023, I really want to finish this series because it is good. And I don't want to leave it for too long and then, like, DNF it or forget about it because I just haven't had the chance to pick it up. So... Yeah, so these, the first two, the eight, volumes eight and nine, I gave five stars to, and this one I gave four stars. This one was a bit slower than these ones, and I just really love the, love the manga when it's like more of pace, not repetitive, not just feeling like it's dragging. I really love finding out things as well, and you find out a lot in these ones, whereas this one is just more resolution rather than finding out things, so, so that part also takes into effect like when I rate different books in a series it's just because of the pace really but I do recommend them to anyone who wants to start reading manga there I think they're a good series to uh, get into and it's one of those series as well whereas it's like the less you know the more excitement you can get from the series more more twists and turns you can come across in the series because I have no clue what's going on after this and I am keen to learn more and figure out what's going on in this world. Next I finally read one of the like very loot exclusive books that I've owned and have not read and that is The Girl Who Fell Beneath the Sea by Axie O and I was not the biggest fan of this. I gave it three stars. I think one reason why I didn't give this I wasn't as hyped for it was because there was a weird love triangle there was uh, there was a little bit of similarity between this book and the six crimson cranes which I, I enjoyed and then every now and again it would kind of like especially at the beginning I thought I was going back and reading that book but I, I wasn't I, overall I enjoyed it I definitely would say if you're into the YA sphere of books I would definitely you know say to read it but I personally it didn't do anything new in terms of YA it didn't really do much like in those senses so I that's why I gave it a three star because it doesn't do anything new but it's a new take on you know mythology kind of thing okay so I don't know what recorded last I just flipped the camera around so I can keep an eye on that because I thought it was recording me but all right so one of my projects i've got a couple of different projects um that i'm trying to do this year uh so i'm trying to do some knitting projects so and i thought you know a wrap up would be a good time to show where i'm wrapping up with things so here i have i'm trying to complete a temperature blanket so this is the um, temperature record so far i think this looks really cool and my goal with this is that at the end of like every year I'd be able to knit the last part onto it to make it into a blanket eventually I don't know how that's gonna work but that's what I would love to do and I know you can knit different projects together so that's what my goal is for this one is to try and knit it all together and yeah so this is two months worth just yeah so it's still attached to the yarn so I could like hold the yarn out as well so this is my crochet project for me. So this is my reading for this year. Uh, so as you can tell, it's quite a bit purple, which is four star. Orange color here is three star. 
This bluey colour is 5 star. And this red here is DNF. So, as you can tell, I had the two DNFs there. And that's where they are on this. Uh, so, this is two months worth of reading. And I'll also show you. Um, so, my husband saw that I was doing one for me. And so, I thought... And he's like, oh, I would love to see something like that for me and i was like okay cool um let me see what i can do and we tried to com come up with a compromise because he doesn't like to rate his books that he reads he just likes to read them enjoy them and then move on to the next so we ended up just doing a genre one so <laughs> Uh, so my husband read through 20 volumes of my hero academia which we put here as dystopian fantasy so this is uh what that looks like um and he's starting to read demon slayer so this is historical fiction or like we put it as horror fantasy for this one up here um he read two volumes of bleach here um which i can't remember what it is and there's also a one here so pretty much all the different books he's read are coming up on here so it does look a bit weird in some spots because I didn't know how to crochet. Uh, now I've learnt a bit more and I know where my mistakes are so it looks a little bit more uniformed going up. That's my crochet project. So you can see we're very big readers in this household. I'm going to wrap this up here. I hope you did enjoy this video. Uh, give it a thumbs up uh, and comment down below what's your favourite book or project that you've done over february i'd like to know and subscribe if you want to see more of this and yeah and i hope to see you next week uh my next week video i'm pretty sure is going to be about i think it's going to be my brisbane haul video so stay tuned for that because i recently did a trip to brisbane and yeah i'll see you next time bye